Okay, so everybody in the back can see me up there, right? Okay. Now, I'm just basically setting up a uh, soldering station here, and if I'd had more time, I would have done this ahead of time, but... God, you're on screen. I know, I'm on screen. If you don't want to be there, that's fine. So basically, I'm just setting up my helping hands here. So these little alligator clips are mighty handy for fixing a cable, which is what we want to do. So I spliced this lovely cable, right? Okay, so I've got a nice clean connection here. First thing I need to do is I need to take my uh, knife, and I'm going to cut down along the side so I can pull back the rubber. Okay, the sheeting. And you notice it's pretty thick. Hopefully you noticed when I was passing this around, it's pretty thick, right? Pull it back, okay. And then this, there's some paper that separates the uh, shield from the actual, the outer rubber, okay. And then I'm going to just untwist this a little bit. You can kind of see that. Great. Okay, more paper. We've got to pull that back. There's actually also some string in here too. Um, that sometimes can help you with pulling it back, but you want to get that out of the way. And you want to just take the, the shield and twist it so that it kind of forms back together, okay? So it's not frayed all over the place, okay? And so now I've basically got three wires, okay, that I need to solder into place, okay? Now I had a quarter inch on the other side, okay, a TRS, okay? I will go on record as saying the TRSs are probably the harder ones to do, the the because the connections inside here are a lot closer together than the connections that you have here. See how this is a lot easier. You basically just have three little posts out that you can just connect into and, and d uh, dip your solder in there. It's a lot easier to make the connections there. Um, for sake of time, because I've got three minutes, I'm actually going to go with an XLR connection just because it's easier. Sorry, okay. One thing you want to make sure, um, and ideally I would have done this before I uh, started stripping the end, you want to fish the shield onto your wire first. That's going to be going to cause a problem for me. Okay. You want to put the shield on first because right now I can't because it's all frayed out basically. Okay. Um, let's see if I can do this like this real quick. Hey, got dark there for a second. Okay. Because once you solder onto the end of it, it's a lot harder to get that shielding back on. Okay. Um, now I want to first. Pull out that, pull out my two conductors again, okay, and I am going to twist this a little bit more. I then need to take my wire strippers, okay, not my cutters, okay, and I'm just going to pull the sheathing off the end of these, the red and the black, okay, and again, twist to make sure the, the, the stranded conductor stays together. Okay, so now I've got three tips there, okay? I want to then, ideally, take my soldering iron and some solder, and it's always a good idea to tend the tips first. So you just get some solder on the tip and kind of coat it. This is gonna make making the connection a lot easier. Now, I'm doing this fast, because I've done this enough times. To put this in perspective, uh, all those connections over there and those different uh, tips with the, uh, ex the quarter inch connections on the back of the patch bay and everything like that, that's all soldering that I did in here over winter break, basically. So um, if you want to know how to practice, build your own studio and solder everything together, basically. So um, after tinning each one of the tips, okay, then it's a matter of taking your connector and placing the wire inside there and simply filling it in with solder the rest of the way, okay? And I want to get this out of the way. I'm going to do that without it being up there because it's a lot easier down on the table. How quickly is that cool? Um, I don't know how long was that. <laughs> it's pretty cool now, so, okay. So I want to get that out of the way, so I've got three conductors. Okay, so now I've got an XLR connection 
on the actual connections for the XLR, uh, you probably can't see that on there, but it's they're actually numbered on here, one, two, and three, okay? Or two, three, and one, as the case may be, okay? And so, are, anybody still have page 285 open? Uh, 285, 286, flip over here. Tell me, flip the page there, Tom. Okay. Where do I, which number do I want to connect my shield to on the XLR connection? No pressure. Um. <laughs> How are these all different? It's here. Oh, ec wait. We're here. Okay, yeah. yeah. Those are one, two, and three. Is one the shield? Yep. Okay, so we have to one. Yep. So we connect shield to one. I just simply take my helping hands, lay it. If I've tinned it right, I just lay it in there. And I just want to heat it back up. Whoa, jumped out. Yeah, because we pick up the solder when I lay here. Okay. Yeah, woe's not a good. Okay. Yeah, what I like about these XLR connectors is they're basically just little cups. So as it, if you've got the angle right, as it heats up, it just basically pools into the cup. Okay. What do I do? What's where does red go? Where does black go? Um, this is black and white, so. <laughs> Yeah, uh, the darkest one is black. Okay, so black goes in three and red goes in two. Black goes in three. I lay that one in there. And this is actually kind of long. Sometimes, so sometimes if you've tinned it kind of long and it's going to stick way out, it's a good idea to just clip it so it lays right in there. Because the more uh, wire you have exposed inside here, the more it's going to, the chance for something to short out across the different wires. Let's see here. It's gonna being kind of difficult here. I'm going to have to hold. My helping hands are not helping me very much. Yeah. <laughs> not staying in place. Okay, that's in place. Also trying to do this quickly. I realize we're in overtime now, right? Almost. What do you mean almost? Almost. Oh, oh, right. We had last time. Yep. Okay. <laughs> So two black for three, and then this red is kind of long as well. I'll just clip that off and stick it in there. See, this is where Google Glass would come in handy because you'd be able to see what I'm seeing. We're just a good cameraman. Uh, I'm going to fudge really this one. Google seeing everything I see. Oh, come on. There it is. Who's that? Who's that Canadian director with the uh, camera eye? Okay. Um, my best advice once you get it in here is to leave it in the clip for maybe a minute or two just to let it cool. Okay. But I basically I love that focal length there. Wow, awesome. Okay. But you can kind of see how it's just soldered in there. And if you want to take a look at this before you leave, feel free. But now it's just a matter of taking my sheathing. Closing it up, twisting this into place, and if I've done this correctly, I can connect it to my cable tester. And I just lost my screen. There it is. Ta-da. And it will work between different connections. So there's one, two, and three. Wow, nice. Okay. Six-minute cable soldering. <laughs> okay, great.